Um, good evening. Thanks for the time. My name is Catherine Lynch. I was recruited to Rhode Island by one of its largest employers. I was enamored with the beautiful waterways, wetlands, forests, and ocean. I am a homeowner very near this proposed site. Why would we want to open up this level of untested technology this close to residential homes, this close to our protected wetlands, this close to our ocean and our tourism industry? A cursory review of research publicly available outlines the risks high heat paralysis of medical waste could have. The Journal of Analytic and Applied Paralysis in 2020 found that the feedstock which is waste input that contains plastics, must be better researched before being included in paralysis processes. Outputs of this process could produce C4H4, which has hazard certification and can auto detonate. This means it explodes without air being present. Think about this for just one minute. A citizen's concerned citizen earlier talked about a plan to evacuate. In an explosion, an evacuation plan won't matter. On April 17th in 2013, where, while I lived in Texas, an ammonium nitrate explosion occurred at the West Fertilizer Company Storage and Distribution Facility in West Texas, 18 miles north of Waco. 15 people were killed, 160 people were injured, more than 150 million, uh, sorry, 150 billions were damaged, buildings were damaged and, or destroyed. This explosion was devastating and terrible for the community. This process is different. I fully acknowledge the med recycler is not fertilizer, but the repercussion could be very similar and just as devastating. A postmortem of the explosion in West Texas found the facility was pre-approved with agencies not fully understanding what was being stored there or how to regulate it. I have been to West many times. The bank I worked for had a branch that was destroyed. I saw the devastation that this community had to recover from. There is a very scary parallel here. The research that is publicly available is directly contradictory to safety and any tie to potential green energy and innovation. An expert paid by MedRecycler earlier this evening stated that this is a decision between putting material in a landfill or recycling it. It is not. The decision, test this where people do not live and do not work. Prove its safety there first. Mark and Yan, this question is for you. Would you drop off your child, your niece, your nephew at the daycare facility that shares a parking lot with this proposed location? Would you allow them to play on the playground? Would you allow your teenager to attend college at New England Technology across the street? You have to deny this permit because this technology is completely untested and potentially dangerous. I yield the rest of my time.